Here is the new Magic Box 3.0, fresh out of the packaging. What's included in the box is a Magic Box 3.0, a SIM pin where you can remove the SIM and SD card tray, a HDMI reducer for the HDMI port. You have one USB type C cable and one USB type A to type C cable. You also have a SIM card that is in the box and you can activate those on our website. On the Magic Box 3.0, you have a few ports. On the bottom, you have the USB type C port, which is for power and data transmission to your CarPlay port on the vehicle. You have a SIM card tray and SD card tray just below the USB C port. And on the other side of the unit, you have a HDMI port, which is where you would plug in HDMI to the reducer that came with the box. Now, to insert a SIM card, if you're using that for a Wi-Fi and data plan, what you're going to do is take the pin that came with the box and flip the unit over, click the pin into the little hole until the tray pops out. You then are gonna take your SIM card and you will see the outline of the tray for the SIM card goes face down. With the box still flipped upside down, you're going to put the tray carefully back into the unit until it clicks into place. So before we plug in the Magic Box 3.0 for the first time, we wanna make sure that no other connection is interfering with the initial connection of the Magic Box. So here you can see that we have a CarPlay connection via a phone wirelessly because nothing's plugged into the USB port. So what we're gonna do is just go into your settings, go to phone list, and we're gonna remove the phone connection from the vehicle. And now you can see that there is nothing connected to the vehicle. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. So now we're going to take our USB type A to USB type C standard cable. We're going to plug the USB C that says device on it into the box. And we're going to take our USB type A cable and we're just gonna plug it into the CarPlay port of the vehicle. You will see a series of LED lights. These are indicators for what is going on with the box. It starts out with a solid blue light, and then it goes to a flashing blue LED. And now you can see on the screen, it says it supports Apple CarPlay. We're gonna click enable, and the unit should auto launch into CarPlay. You will now be given a warning sign not to operate this while the vehicle is in motion. Please operate it in a safe location when the vehicle is parked and please look at your local laws and abide by those. We're going to agree and accept. From here, we have the Magic Box home screen and it's gonna give you an option to pick Apple CarPlay on boot up, Android Auto on boot up or Magic Box streaming. So in this case, I'm gonna go into Magic Box streaming Okay, now that we're at the Magic Box 3.0 home screen, we need to connect to an internet source. So you can either use the SIM card that came with the unit after you activate online, or you can use your personal hotspot. If you're using the SIM card, just go into the settings and you wanna make sure that mobile data is turned to the on position. If you're using a personal hotspot on your phone, just go into the settings, personal hotspot, allow others to join and then your password I have set to one through eight. You're gonna click into Wi-Fi. You now will see iPhone seven. There's the password, so I'm just gonna hit go. And now you can see that the iPhone is connected to the personal hotspot. So just to be sure, you can go back to the homepage and in the top right-hand corner here, you can see 
There's a Wi-Fi symbol illuminated as well as a 4G data illumination. Just to check the connection, let's open YouTube and there you go. Now that we are connected to internet, in order to download apps to the Magic Box 3.0, what you're gonna do is go to the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store is a default app that is on your app drawer here. Click into the Google Play Store, and all you will have to do is log in with an email, and here you'll be able to download any apps that you would like directly to the unit. If for whatever reason, you have an app that you can't find on the Google Play Store, please reach out to us. You also have a Magic Store, which is where we constant, constantly monitor certain applications to make sure that the version of the app is actually compatible. If you want to remove apps from the app drawer at the bottom, all you do is simply long hold and it will remove the app. If you'd like to add an app, just click the plus button and then select whichever app you'd like to add. And you can do that all the way across the bottom. If you want to join apps together to make folders, simply long hold an app and drag it over the top of another app. That will place both the apps in a folder to where then you can move that folder about. If you want to delete an app, long hold and drag it to the uninstall at the top. You can also rearrange apps just by long holding and moving them on each page.